Large language models like ChatGPT keep on hallucinating. The other day, I asked it to provide me with examples about using AI in diagnostics. It came up with good ones and I asked for the source, the study that it's based its answers on. It kept on providing false links, links in medical papers that simply didn't exist. I kept on telling the model that these links didn't exist. It kept on telling me that they did. It hallucinated. Since the launch of ChatGPT in 2022, hallucinations have been one of the major hurdles and challenges and one of the best reasons for people against these large language models about avoiding their use in medicine and healthcare. If these models keep on hallucinating, how can we trust them with medical, healthcare, patient, private information? A new study came out recently in PLOS Digital Health about the six major challenges in using generative AI for digital health. One of these challenges was hallucinations and the potential solution by authors was temperature control. Temperature control is an exciting concept in large language models. The temperature serves as a critical parameter influencing the balance between predictability and creativity in generated text. Lower temperatures mean firmer, more factual answers. Higher temperatures might mean much higher creativity and maybe hallucinations. I thought that a company like OpenAI should be able to provide us with a feature like this, a range. I can set it to a low temperature when I need medical studies and peer-reviewed papers. I can set it to a high temperature when I need the model to be as creative as possible, coming up with innovations, discussing ideas with me. I also asked ChatGPT about this temperature control and it claimed that, yes, you can certainly adjust the temperature of my responses. In this context, the temperature setting controls the randomness or creativity of the generated text. Lower temperature, like 0.2, will make the responses more deterministic and focused, while a higher temperature, like 0.8, will make the responses more creative and varied. I tried it myself. I asked ChatGPT to set its own temperature to 0.1 and keep on giving me studies. And it did, in a much better way than in my first example. But my results are still mixed. Sometimes it hallucinates even with lower temperatures. So we expect companies like OpenAI to come up with temperature control so we can make sure that when we need peer-reviewed studies or when we need really high levels of creativity, we will be able to use ChatGPT from that perspective. But until then, try it yourself. Set temperature to 0.1 or 0.9 and please let me know how it went. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the digital health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.